Hey, Johnny. Dad, how you doing, what's my going friend? On, brother? How you doing? Good man? to see you, man. Johnny, what's going on, brother? Appreciate you coming to see us, yeah. man. And we really appreciate you coming to our auction. My pleasure. Hey, I got Mr. Green sitting right up here. Let's go say hi to him. Hi, Dean Green. Dan, how, how you doing? doing, son? Good to see you. Good to see you. So you're ready? Yes. How many cars? 500. We're going to run like uh, 75 tonight. We're going to run 250 tomorrow, and then 175 on Saturday. I like that yellow truck. That oh, looks yeah. like me, yeah. Dean. Oh, yeah. That'd look, that'd look good in Miami. Yeah, take my little boy to school and that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Bright That's color, cool. too, bright huh? yellow. Yeah. A good color. Yeah. Match your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm low key today. Oh yeah. Well, I appreciate you having me. Well, we appreciate let's you have coming. Some up. fun this weekend. Okay. Right? We got the team in the car, and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one, and we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! What sets Greensboro Auto Auction or GA Classic Cars apart is we're a family-owned business. We got a lot of people that's been dedicated. We take a lot of pride in what we do. We want to make sure when people come to have an experience, we want them to feel like part of our family. We want them to leave feeling like part of our family. So we do a lot to make that experience an enjoyable for them. Now we just got done building a new uh, classic car diner for uh, this event. We did the sound recording of the cars. You can actually hear them in the background starting them up. That's what you hear when the car comes up to the block. So when you're here, you don't have the fume smell. We know the people that are coming. We know the bidders. We know the sellers. We love the public. And we make it fun. And the reason that it's fun for everybody else is because we're having fun. GAA Classics is really growing and it's exciting. Hey. Hi, beautiful. How are you doing? No, good, good. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I got to buy some cars. Are you? Good. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you're here. And thanks for everything you oh, always do for me. Anytime. It's... We enjoy having you. Uh, you know, people like you are why I come here. Well, thank you very much. We enjoy having you. It's easy to help you. Where's the cars uh, for not tonight? They are outside out there, and then they'll are start long lining are those, those coming up. Through? They will. They'll start to long line those up, and then they'll, like they do from the tent up around. But the ones for tonight are out here. Outside, yes. We'll and then out, out through the tent and everything. Starting soon. Starting soon. This is me. I could use this. Bet you it's got the original six cylinder in line. Got the regular six cylinder in line. Looks like it was born. This is nice. Mustangs I love. 65, 66, love them. 289. See, this is this is a car that I can sell, good, bad, and different any day of the week, all over the world. And I, my best-selling car is a Mustang. This is where the fun is. No reserve. That means someone's going to own this bad boy. No reserve. This is something you should buy. 76 truck like this, a good old truck. You buy this car for. You know, four grand, 4,500, you're okay. But you can buy what, you know, bid what you want. You're not fighting some reserve. You're not, you know, going to kill yourself. 55 T-Bird. Real, looks a real original car. Needs a little work, needs a little bit of love, but it's a nice old car. Correct motor, correct air cleaner, hard top. These came with two tops. I'll, this one has both tops. I'm behind the seat, underneath here. It's your soft top. So this has all of it. Great car. But a car in this shape, a car in this shape, I think 15 kills it. I think 12, 13 would be better. But it's worth 15 grand all day long. We're now at number 21. It's a 1976 Cadillac Seville. 21, 21,000. 21, it's 24, 25, 25, 25, so 2491 dollars, number 291. Nice little Cadillac. <laughs> Darling, did you drive this a little bit? Runs good, doesn't it? That's what the guy said, he's an honest guy. Very good, very happy. Thank you, I love it. Pretty car, isn't it? I like it. At 2400 I'll make a profit on this 76 Seville. That's good, I'm glad I got something done. It gives me something to drive for the week. Right. 85, 
I'm buying this. This 64 Chevelle will sell in Miami. Thank you. That's a pretty car. I'm cleaning up so far, and it's only my first day here. I want to show you a really important part of the auction, an integral part of the auction, where he makes deals after the cars go through. And he's really good at what he does. This is Chris Newhauser. He's the deal you, doctor. Mr. Florida. Yeah. How are you doing? He, he makes deals after the deals are done. When the car goes through and doesn't sell, and you're interested in it, you talk to the deal doctor, and he'll put you together and work on your side to get the deal done. And he's real good at what he does, boy. He really is. Which car are you after? I'm after that 55 Thunderbird. Okay. A black T-Bird just went through? Yeah. Well, I think that, you know, after talking with him, the high bid up there, we were real close. I think one or two more bids would have probably bought it. I can sell that car. I got a paint shop. I can fix it and make it nice. I really want to be 17-ish to buy it. Somewhere in the 21 range. Do you, are you a miss. player on it there? No. I really wanted to be in the upper teens, to be honest. With you. What will you pay for it? What I'd be happy with, 17. How about 18? Let me try 18. Want to try 18? Why don't you? Okay. So if there's roughly five, four, five hundred cars, we'll usually translate into 40 or 50, 60 cars at this desk that didn't sell at the block. This is an opportunity or a second chance for the bidder to come over and buy a customer's car that didn't sell up there. I'm gonna go back to the deal, doctor. I'm gonna see how he made out. Maybe I bought myself a T-Bird. So how did you do? Well, I think that if we came up a little bit, we could get the deal done. But right now, we're stuck at 21. I appreciate the well offer. Done. I appreciate it. Pick out another one. Oh, well, you're gonna see me all weekend. Thank you. Ted tried to negotiate that Thunderbird down, the black car, and we're just a couple thousand dollars apart. He's not willing to come up. The seller's not willing to come down. So sometimes there's just not that happy medium, but we got real, real close. Day two is here. I need to forget the fire for now and focus on bringing home some good cars. If this is a V8, I want to buy this. That's a V8. I want to buy this car for between, I think, seven murders. I want to be under that. So I get the biggest voice in the room to help me seal the deal. I'm Henry Phillip G. the Third, and I'm a ringman with the GA Classics. My dad's name is Phil, and I'm also Phillip, but I'm known as Refill at all the auctions. I work the floor, at a, I help catch bids. I'm a bid assistant for the auctioneer. We uh, assist the auctioneers with the bids and handling the crowd. I love working and doing this. There's no other place they can pay to yell and have a great time. I assisted Ted today with a Ford Mustang. When he walked up, he told me that this car will be going home with me. And when Ted says it, you believe it, you put him in and you follow him. And by God, he put it on the trailer. I want to uh, buy this car. I don't want to get stupid with it. We'll make it happen, bro. Ted seems to trust me. We'll work well together. Ted, you know, he knows how to work the cars. He, Ted is very astute on what he's buying, so there's no question. Well, Ted wants something or Ted don't want something, he's got an answer for you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Refill was the ring man that I went to when I'm bidding. And, you know, his job is to get it sold and get me to pay as much as I can. And, you know, I didn't want to pay too much, and they know me, they, they've been around me a long time, you know, it's how to work, man, I, you know, and how to get it done. And working with Phil and working with Refill, they're just fine people, you know? They're nice people, they do a tremendous job. Both of them have been world champion ring men. That's huge. I mean, there's a whole lot of ring men in this country, world champs. and. You know, you see how hard they work. I'm sure they sleep well at night. And, you know, it's great guys. The, the whole group, I mean, up here, it's just such a pleasure. Number five is a 1928 Ford Model A truck, fresh coat of paint, original inline four cylinder engine, four speed manual flat bed. I like this truck. Runs great. I'm just here to sell my grandfather's old truck. Uh, 
just got tired of seeing it sit outside and go downhill, so decided to get rid of it while I could. 55. Hey! 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 Yes, number six, it's a 1965 Jeep CJ Thank you, Ted. Yes, good job. Thank you. I'm happy about that. I just bought a 1928 Model A Ford truck, a double A, which means it has the heavier chassis. It's just, you know, it was in the guy's family for decades. I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited. I bought it right. That is a moneymaker. That's why I'm here. I'm very pleased with the deal I got today. It, it brought more than what I was expecting. I had a reserve of 6000 on it, and I'd been very happy with 55 and I ended up with $6,800, and I'm very pleased with it. The gentleman on that Ford AA said he would have taken less money, which is nice, but I'd have paid 10 or 12 for it. I think I wound up paying six or seven. So, you know, it's, everybody has their market. That car by me will do 20 grand. So I'm a happy guy. Great car. I'm happy with it. I'm going to take it and give it a good home. It's going to Miami. It'll probably wind up in the uh, Persian Gulf. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ted told me where it was probably going to end up at, and it's going to a good home, and that's that's the main thing. I, like I said before, I just I hate to see it just to go downhill and not be worth anything. Somebody can use it. I just bought my fifth car of the day. I'm right on the money is where I want to be. I want to get two or three truckloads, so I'm perfect right now. Today is day three, it's the last day, and looking forward to having a great day. There are some beautiful, beautiful cars here. There's some cars I'd love to get, um, like that Mercedes right there. That's a bad boy. This is a 1957 190SL Mercedes. They called it the baby Mercedes because the big boys were the 300 SLs. You could buy these for very little money back in the day. They've found their own right now and they've started climbing. This particular Mercedes is a low production car because it was ordered with this blue and the red leather interior. It was pretty uncommon in those days. A lot of white ones, a lot of silver ones. That's a pretty special color. I'd like to buy this car for 40 or 50 grand. I think it's going to do closer to 100. I didn't get the Mercedes, but I'm burning this pit with deals. It's like taking candy from a baby. It's the last day of auction, and I pick up some real nice cars that will do very well in Miami. The 67 Chevelle will sell fast back home. Oh, wow. That's a good car with a console. Bad boy. This beautiful red Mustang caught my attention. It's a 73 Mach 1. Oh, I'm interested. 15, 6. 15, 6, 7. So, 15, 6, 291. So, how are you doing today? Much better. I bought a 66 Corvette convertible with two tops on one bid. I bought a 67 Super Sport Chevelle, and I bought a 74 Chevy Caprice convertible, triple black. So, they're the three best cars I bought all weekend. So, now what are you going to look for? Anything that's for worth the money. You know me. I'll buy anything. anything. You've exactly. seen that. Yes, yeah. Exactly. So, I'm going to go back out there and fight the war. Okay. Bye. Take care. The auction's coming to a close when this beauty catches my eye. It's a 39 Ford Deluxe convertible sedan. Pretty, pretty car. This is me. I'd pay a quarter for this car without blinking an eye. It's probably going to be 50, but I'd pay a quarter for this car. 1939 Ford Deluxe. This 1939 Ford Deluxe has been through a frame-up restoration. The interior is immaculate. Yes, it is a convertible, Tim. Four-door convertible, frame-up restoration, V8 with 85 horsepower, three-speed manual trans, $50,000 spent on the restoration, including the leather and It's 27, 
that car. That car is worth a lot more Here we go. It's number 160. And look, that 162. gentleman over there by the gas pump talking to Johnny. He owns the car. He's Johnny's neighbor. Less than 500 of this Corvette were built in 1970. That's the car. One of the first built. It's got a January build date. Thank you. Let's talk to you. Let's get on an H1. I bought that car. Did you tell him how long you had it? Oh, you just owned it a couple of weeks? It's a wonderful car. That's a real, that's a convertible sedan. When you take the top open, it's got center posts that come off. That's a really spectacular old car. Really nice car. That car is probably worth 60, like it is. Happy with that. It's time for me to settle up and see the damage. I may be in trouble. Hope they take my check. Hey, Sonia. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I guess I'm done. I bet so. You had a busy day, didn't you? Yeah, I got much better cars today. Well, good. Really, really nice cars. You liked our mix better today yeah. with everything. Yeah, I got lucky. I got good cars. I didn't buy any real, you know, I bought one cheapie. Mm -hmm. I made one bad bid, and then they, 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 someone else bid. I said, thank you, Lord, because I, I made one bad bid. I'm how to eat it. I'd have to eat it. Right. But, oh, man, I was busy. I saw you, you were really busy. So what was, what was your favorite car? 39 Ford I bought, last car I bought. That was the best car I bought. 39 Deluxe. Yeah, Yeah. that's the best. That's really? a convertible sedan. Oh, it's a four door convertible, that's beautiful. And the two vets, they'll make money. Mm -hmm. um, Mach 1 was nice, they're all good. What great cars. Glad that you like them. Well, I, we enjoy having you to come. Oh, I'm always here. I, I thought it was a great show, you know, you guys, really treated us well. We're good. You know, and they always do. The people are just so nice. Everybody, everybody. You must have some kind of a school where you teach people how to act. There's, there's just, there's not anyone out there that's not just over the top nice. Sunsets are beautiful in Greensboro, even when you gotta load two truckloads of classics. I'm not big on manual labor, but this double A beast is heavy. A four person job. Well, three and a half with me. I'm not sure these cars were planning a trip to Florida, but I bought them a ticket to paradise. But I tell you what, this weekend, I was on fire.